Hello, welcome back to Revendurin Sports and another product review. So, <clears throat> I've been really intrigued by the Perla Zumi Pro Air product line. I did a bib short review, compared that also to the Pro Bib Short, not the Air, so the Pro Air and the Pro Bib. And um, I'm just really intrigued by their Air. Um, description of their products and these are their top of the range and they're very high end and very lightweight products and so to that end i also ordered a pair of pro air cycling shoes just because i wanted to see what is going on anyway so before we go any further if you've been on the channel before you're going to hear the same spiel but please subscribe like and share these videos with some of your friends. I am a nerd's nerd and I I get in, into the weeds sometimes with certain things. Um, not that I use the products themselves, but I like to be educated about them, especially things that are supposed to be very lightweight and so on and so forth. And of course, hit that notification bell so that you know when I've posted another video. We are this close to 300 subscribers. I think we're at uh, 296 as of May 12th, 2021. So I'm really excited about that. We've taken this channel in just the last two months and over 100 subscribers. So I'm thrilled. But anyway, let's get on with the topic of the day. So Pearl Izumi, um, they are a brand that has a huge product width so it goes you know very entry level type of shorts in the you know 45 50 dollars all the way up to the you know nearly 300 dollars shorts that i i reviewed and the same thing with jerseys and you know they have everything right so leg warmers knee warmers um sun sleeves which <laughs> i've got a triple tan line going here but, um, you know, as the weather gets nicer here in, in Southern California, I'll, I'll, I'll wear uh, some sun sleeves just to protect my skin. But their Pro Air line is their top of the line stuff. And so I ordered a pair. And so this is the, um, obviously the box and the Pro Air. And I wear a 44.5 depends on the shoe brand sometimes a 45 sometimes a 44 but generally speaking right around 44.5 and this is what the pro air shoe looks like and it's a lace-up shoe and the reason it's a lace-up shoe is because well boas and those kinds of or ratchets of any type are much heavier if you will but additionally um, with a lace-up shoe, if you've never worn one and you think you have to fidget a lot with the, with the tension of it, but once you put it on, I mean, how often do you, uh, if you've got a pair of running shoes or a pair of just regular lace-up trainers, as some people call them, just regular shoe, uh, shoes, how often do you adjust them throughout the day? You don't, you put them on, you cinch them up tie your little bow and you're done and that's kind of the same thing on a cycling shoe you would think oh i need to tighten them up for this and loosen them up for that but if, if you adjust it right the first time you're good to go you don't really have to do anything um i have about four different pair of lace-up shoes so i'm speaking from experience i actually did at least two of my nine everest um, and, and those of you who do not know what an Everest is, it's uh, 29,000 feet on a single ride, up, down, up, down on a hill, just doing repeats. So I wore, I, I know at least one and possibly two of those Everest I wore lace-up shoes. Super comfortable. And they were probably the $100, $100 shoe from Louis Garneau. I, I have to uh, refresh my memory as far as the pricing, but super comfortable shoe. Uh, plastic sole wasn't even a carbon sole and um, I still have those shoes I just haven't worn them in a while they're they're all scuffed up they were white shoes and the um, the top layer has been scuffed up and stuff so 
you know, it's time for always new shoes in my case. But so I, I, I purchased these shoes and they claim 150 grams for a 42 shoe. I think they said this is a 44.5. I weighed it with the insole inserted. I figure, you know, that's pretty much what they should have been weighing it as. And uh, if you look at the sole, you'll notice that the sole has, you know, quite a few uh, cutouts. So, of course, that makes the sole super light because there's areas where you just don't have any material. So then that means they have to strengthen these other areas. And so I weighed it and it was 185 grams. And, okay, well, let's have some comparison. Let's have some type of perspective. Well... This shoe here is the Pro version 4. And after holding this shoe for the last several minutes while I'm uh, doing this video, as soon as I picked up this shoe, the weight is very noticeable. And this shoe is, re it's also 44.5. And this thing almost weighs 300 grams. So, by the way, it's got a really cool sole. <laughs> but uh, they've got a new version of this, and it's the version 5, and uh, it's been out of stock for a while. 44.5 is a very common shoe size for men, so it's out of stock. It's like a 10.5 um, in the American sizing. But So this shoe is nearly 300 grams, whereas I mentioned that this shoe is 185. Now, this shoe... Uh, maybe you might use it as a race day only shoe. You know, I've always had the opinion of train heavy race light. So you don't wear your Sunday best every day. But um, your mileage may vary. You may decide that I want the lightest stuff on all the time, all the time. That's great. Um, so these are, or this is the version four. And this is a pro air. And the version 4, as I mentioned before, has been um, revised. It's now called a version 5 shoe and or V5. And um, just waiting for it to come in stock. And I'll do an unboxing and, of course, a product review once I actually ride with the shoe. So I'm hoping to get out this weekend on this shoe. Um, once again, it's not because I'm a weight weenie, but just because I like to test product out i like to be able to recommend it to my customers if they need it um oftentimes you'll see me riding a steel frame steel bike you know a couple of pounds heavier than a lightweight carbon bike but what's a couple of pounds not that big of a deal i'm not a pro cyclist um three watts per kilo four watts per kilo is probably the hardest i can climb for any period of time these guys are climbing at six watts per kilo it's ridiculous what they do anyway that's all for today i'm going to put some cleats on this get these out on the road and uh hopefully this saturday get a good seven plus hour ride in them and uh, on saturdays you'll see in the description below my strava profile where uh, generally on Saturdays I go out for a 10,000 foot climbing day. And last week it was 80 something miles and 10,000 feet. So obviously these are hard rides, lots of climbing. This shoe would be suitable for someone who is really down in the weight as far as their own body weight, which obviously is much more important, their bike weight and all their accessories and things on their bike. So anyway, I'm looking forward to them. I don't I don't foresee a lot of support the way the upper has been designed, but I had a pair of Mavic shoes that were super light at the time, and I'm hoping that um, they fit something similar to that. I might even bring out those Mavic shoes for um, the actual product review once I've, act once I've worn these shoes. Okay, thank you for watching. If you like the content, please subscribe. I'm hoping that in the future, uh, Pearl Izumi or other brands will send me product instead of me actually having to buy them. That way I can give you um, more reviews on more products. Right now, I'm 
I'm limited by the budget of what I'm purchasing to be able to provide a review for you, but I'd like to be able to review all kinds of other things that I didn't actually have to pay for. And um, that way you get a much wider product breadth of things to look at. Okay, thank you so much. Please subscribe and we'll see you up the road.